Hello, welcome to another video. So this is going to be a fun exercise. Um, say you're given a function or there exists a function such that the derivative of the function is just the negative of the function. Okay, if this was linear algebra, we'll start talking about something else. Okay, but this is just calculus. And with this, what would that function be? I'm sure if you sit down and think carefully, you can guess what the function is. But let's find out what that function actually is by doing the calculus. This is a fun example of a differential equation. Okay, because a differential equation is any equation that you write that involves the derivative of a function, essentially. So, now, first thing I'm gonna do is rewrite this because I can't do much with f of x, but I can do a lot with y. Let's see why. Let's rewrite the function. We're going to get y prime equals negative y. Now you can see how easy it is to solve this because now I'm going to say y prime. What, what is y prime? Wait, we know that y prime is dy dx. So because again, I can do a lot with dy with y prime, but I can do so much with dy dx. So dy dx is negative y. Now, what kind of differential equation is this? This is a separable differential equation because I can separate the y from the x. I can put all the y's on one side, all the x's on one side. So if I decide to take this y down here and bring this x over here, what I'm going to have is going to be, I divide both sides by y, I'm going to have dy divided by y will be equal to negative dx. You see this negative dx, I can actually rewrite this so it looks nicer. What if we wrote this as, say, 1 over y times dy will be equal to, instead of writing negative here, I'm going to write negative 1 times dx, just so you can see it. So let's say there's an invisible one that was sitting here, but I didn't write it. So now we can take the integral, or we can integrate both sides because these are both differentials. Okay, so if I integrate this, I get the integral of 1 over y dy will be equal to um, the integral of negative 1 dx. Mm. If we integrate this, what do we get? With respect to y, what do you get? You get natural log of y. That's it. If you integrate negative 1, you get negative x. And then we can say plus c. Well, can I do plus c here? Well, you can also do plus c, but the point, the reason we don't usually do plus c is, let me show you why you shouldn't do plus c on the left-hand side when you take an, the, in, the integral. So let's say I say plus c, and I call this c1, that means I have to call this c2. Okay, so watch what happens. The natural log of y will be negative x plus, if I move this here, it's going to become c2 minus c1. Well, what if I call that c2 minus c1 just c? You see that the plus c has come back. So don't waste your time trying to generate two c's. Just write plus c the first time because it covers everything. This is the natural log of y. Remember what we're looking for. We're looking for f of x, which is y. Okay, so what we have is natural log of y. So we take the e of both sides. Um, that means that y will be e of negative x plus c, which is the same thing, look, this same thing as e to the negative x times e to the c. But e is a number, is a constant, c is a constant, so that's another constant, that's another giant c. But I don't want to use c, let's use a to represent this, so I can just say y is equal to a be equal to e to the c, okay? So I can just multiply this by a, I get a e to the negative x. And this is the function whose derivative is just the negative of itself. If we take the derivative of this, remember this is a constant, you're just going to get minus, multiplying this is minus a e to the negative x, which makes this equation true. Now, what we've gotten here is what you call the general solution. 
It doesn't mean it's a particular solution because we don't know what A is. But if I gave you some other information, then you can tell, okay, if I plug in, if I know what X is, when Y is, which you call initial conditions, then you can find what A is. But that's not the most important thing. It's the fact that you can solve a differential equation just by knowing how to do integration. See you in the next video. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.